What up guys? So I'm out here at the lake right now enjoying this beautiful day. After all these tornadoes and storms we had, man, like it's been pretty nasty. And now it's a nice day and I'm just in, and it's getting warmer and warmer by the hour. But what I've been up to lately is I've been making my own shofars, which has been awesome. So I sand I got this one here. This is one of a few. Um you know, you can see all the colors in it and all that. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. And the sound quality is good. I'll never buy another shofar again. Well, I won't say that. I won't say that. But most of, I mean, anything that's of this sound quality that I can make myself, I've always seen for no less than five, like 500 bucks. And it's just like, man, you, that's ridiculous. I'm not kind of, I'm complaining, like, you know, but... I would like to see more people have shofars that sound good and not have to pay a week's pay or two weeks pay. Who knows? Some of these, a lot of, lot of God's people ain't rich. And that's not the way it should be, but it's the truth. But any, any, anyway, not worldly rich anyways. We're all rich. You know. This is what it sounds like. I don't even know if you guys can hear it that well here, but it's it sounds really, really nice out here. It's peaceful. It's so nice out here. It really is. And um, just keep me in prayer. Anybody that happens to come across this, keep me in prayer. Going through the fire, fasting, praying, getting a lot of deliverance. And um, yeah, just pray as you're led. You know, help, you know, just pray that, you know, that the shofars that I make, which is not about money. I'm not, I'm not even really trying to profit. I just want to, I want more people to, to sound the trumpet. He's coming. He's coming. And I hear too, way too many people like, oh man, I really want a shofar, man, but they're so expensive. It's just like, if you really, those of us that are really called to blow the, to blow the shofar, like, you're not going to let anything stop you. Now, but, but thank you, Jesus. Now, there are those of you, though, that are like, I really can't afford it. I want one, but I can't. So, yeah, I get it. And that's where I come in. If you really want to, you really want to trump it. It's not going to be made in Israel. It's going to be made Gentile style. But it's going to sound quality. All right? And, it, and you ain't going to be paying several, you know, hundreds of dollars for it. Like, I would even be willing to just do it at cost. Like, if I get a horn, if I got to buy a horn from the, from the wholesaler for a hundred bucks then pay the shipping you know period pay the shipping or pay 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 the, the exact cost plus the shipping and that's it that's that's fair in my eyes and then if you want to give more then just know that it's going for ministry like probably more likely what i'm gonna do what, what god's put on my heart is when i see these homeless people i'm gonna roll up be like, you want a bite to eat? I'm going to go get him a bite to eat, you know what I'm saying, and minister to him over a meal. Because I've always wanted to do that, and I haven't done it yet, unfortunately. I just haven't, you know, but pray for me. And um, that's 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 really what, what it is. That's what it is. So, anyway, just want to uh, update everybody. Making my own sofars. This is one right here. This, like, this one right here is one that I'm keeping myself because I'm going I'm to show you, like, 
it's one of the first ones I made and I actually drilled out the side of it. You see that little hole? I got to cover that with my thumb. And I also, that was, that's the second one. And then I drilled out the side on the, on this one here, had to like seal that up. And then the, the mouthpiece here, as you can see, it's not centered. So like this don't go to nobody. This, it, this isn't for me. I keep in it, but I do have some that are, that are right. You know what I mean? They're, they're on point, but I, I've given them away. I've given away three so far, I kept one. And I, and I have, when I got one more that another brother wants, that's already accounted for I'm, I'm just, I haven't got done sanding it yet. It's already tuned. It sounds amazing. And, uh, I just got to sand it down and give it a, give it a polish and then it's done. And, um, yeah. So it's not, like I said, it's not for bills or pleasure. Any money I do end up getting is going right back to God and into the shofar ministry. And God gave me the name of this ministry, the shofar ministry. That's it. That's all it's about. Is the shofar war lamb. <laughs> shofar war lamb. That was like, that's awesome. Thank you, Lord. So shofar war lamb ministry. Making shofars to equip the saints. That's what it is. I don't know. I, don't, I, I know God told me don't despise small beginnings. All right, Lord, I won't. So that's where I'm at. So anyway, I guess that's it. Now I gotta find out a way to cross this <laughs> this muddy moat. <laughs> it's not a moat, but you know. Anyway, stay blessed in Jesus' name. I love you all with the love of Christ. Agape. Shalom.